at the shop again today working on the race car. In the last video, if you watched it, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We pulled the rear bumper off. We had the front fenders, front bumper, headlights off. So today we're looking at trying to, our end goal is to pull the motor. So we're going to be doing the wiring in the engine bay, getting the transmission drive shaft all unbolted, getting the motor out, and that's the main goal. Uh, my wife Amanda's behind the camera here. She'll be helping me as well and partaking in some of the wrench turning. But uh, we're going to see as far as we can get as long with the daylight so we have good video and we'll just take you along for the ride. <music> Alright guys, so I just got the car jacked up. It's now stable, so we can start working on it. This is actually the motor that's in the vehicle. It's just a stock K24, which you can see here. And so I'm actually going to be, put, be putting a fully built motor that I got from Hymn Performance out of Arkansas. And it's going to be a K24 and just turbo. So uh, all the wiring and everything is going to stay the same. So it'll be pretty simple. I'll just disconnect everything and clean up the wiring when the motor's out just a little bit but there's no major changes other than adding gauges and different sending units for that. So a lot of parts that were installed on the car were just to get it running to see if I like drifting from the very beginning and uh, to get it on the road see if I like the 240 because this is my first 240 that I've ever owned and drifted. So now that I know that I like it along with this build what I'm doing is taking all the little stuff that I'm not happy with or we threw it together or bought um, just a stock component and I'm actually changing those out to uh, more preferred parts and we're actually going to be making some parts here and there for this so I'm just kind of refreshing it and going through different stuff that I don't like that I like so maybe the parts that you see here like this intake and stuff were just made to make it work but uh, we're going to be putting all brand new intake and everything with the turbo and doing the intercooler piping so there's a lot of little stuff that I'm going to be changing that's just either cosmetic or uh, just a higher grade of part instead of just trying to get it running on the road. Alright, so a little update for y'all. Amanda was awesome. She did like most of everything. And we got a lot of the wiring done. It's looking good. We also took off the intake here. Um, fuse boxes. All of that. Everything down here that's in blue that you can see is stuff that we're going to cut out of the loom once the motor's out. So all this went to the headlights, fenders, everything like that. And it's looking good. We already have the exhaust off. Pretty much this is the pile of stuff that won't be going back on the car so you can see the intake headlights bracket fuse box bracket exhaust that was on there so now we just have to drain the fluids and disconnect the drive shaft and we left for just the meantime because we didn't know if we were going to be able to get to pulling the motor we left the coolant um, all in here with the radiator so we're going to get that along with the fluids and we will be good to go so I went ahead and decided to take the seat out. So I have a rail that I made down here. So it's just two bolts and one in the back and then a stud on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and get that taken out. Unfortunately, the seat did seat out in the sun. So it does have some fading. So hopefully I'll get it recovered soon.
So I just wanted to show you all this. I actually made my own seat rail before to sit as low as it possibly can. So this is actually what I came up with on the locations. Get it in focus. But it's pretty sturdy and it goes in all the factory locations. So it's not too hard. You just got to measure it out and then obviously beat the floor in too right around where right here but it fits and it works so you definitely can do it yourself instead of buying one it just takes some time and some fabrication So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the night. I did not actually get the motor pulled. I started on the exhaust. Um, I had the lower portion done earlier, but the um, upper portion, the, the actual header um, down to the, to the downpipe, it was really hard to get those bolts out. One was broken, two were just really rusted. So I went in and did that, just worked on getting that cleaned up, got the header off. Add a Megan header um, down there, which obviously we'll be replacing with the turbo manifold. And um, so I got that done. So this is what the car is looking at now. Got the wiring up there just out of the way. But I will be draining all the fluids tomorrow and going to be doing that. So this is obviously went ahead and took the seat out. I'm going to be taking the passenger one out tomorrow. But we'll be able to get in here, get it all wired up, get the dash back in, gauges in, everything like that. So it's looking good so far. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And thank you for staying up to date with the build. It's been an awesome process and it just keeps getting better and better. So I have some parts coming. I'll be showing y'all what I'm going to be running and uh, doing some unboxing for y'all as well. So I'm excited to show you and thank you for just being on the ride with me. Thank you.